Yo, what's up, y'all? Same story, different day. We're still living in a comic book world. Still living the dream. The greatest bull market ever. The greatest bull market ever. And the greatest part about it is that we're picking stocks off the trash heap. Oh, did I preface the video with believe it or not? Well, believe it or not, we were in the Caesars at $8.60 today. And not only did we trade that piece of shit, but we were in FSLR, if you can believe it. And you know, what's even crazier today, we actually found a shorting opportunity in that con stock that was getting its ass squeezed for so long. Yeah, we didn't make that much money on it, but at least we made some money. And who the hell shorting stocks in this market? Am I right? Oh, wait. All you geniuses are, right? Wait for that monster sell-off that's going to come. Oh, September's going to be so scary. Oh, wait till October comes. Let me tell you. I want to give you a little hint, a little tidbit of information. You know when you should short stocks is when you got a day like this, it's completely bullish, you're breaking out, and then suddenly the UVXY starts to go up, which it never does, and then the market starts to roll over and goes negative. That was what you want to call a blow-off top, which is what we may have had, and I'm going to give you a couple of tidbits here, a couple of little inside squidooshes. I'm looking to short this stock EXCL tomorrow. Am I short right now? Absolutely not. I'd rather be late and right than early and wrong. Why the hell would I short a biotech stock just because it went from 5 to 15? That's how you get in trouble, people. That's how you get in trouble. Just because a stock went from 5 to 15, oh, you think it's going to pull back? Why? Why should it? It's a bull market. Maybe they've got some cancer breakthrough research that is about to be released and the stock could go to $50. But you're seeing a little sign here, a little, little, little topping action at $15, so possibly if this thing doesn't break 15 tomorrow, we'll be looking to short it. But more importantly, picking these stocks off the trash heap, remember I talked about the exhaustion situation formation? The exhaustion situation formation. Well, it reared its ugly head again, or should I say its beautiful, gorgeous body in first solar. Why the hell? And in a million years did I think I'd be trading first solar today, but boom, there it was. Oh, did I mention SAEX coming out of that same pattern? Look what that stock did. Am I saying that I bought it at $750 and rode it to $10? I'm not saying that. But I'm saying from $750 to $8 was good enough for me and my people. Me and my peeps made some money on this thing. So I don't know what you guys are still looking at. And I know there's a guy who wants to debate me whether or not we are going to go to Dow 20,000. Listen, not only are we going to go to Dow 20,000, I'm going to give you the exact time Day and time. January 20th. What's up? The Hog Brahmin. You are filing. D, the enemy. To go to the album of the show. Bull rush the sound. I made a year ago. Sorry. Sorry, I get carried away when Public Enemy comes on. But listen, guys, this is the greatest bull market in the world. You don't want to know why? Because stocks are coming off the trash heap and the shorts are going, I can't believe this piece of shit's going up. And then the bulls get all encouraged. you got the guys who have been dollar cost averaging for solar, hoping that it turns around. You think it's about the stock? You think suddenly solar's going to catch on fire, pun intended there? Who gives a shit? The stock made a turn, it had a little engulfing candle, and boom, we're in from 34.80, and again, you know me, selling out at 35, but, you know, we held a little bit up to 30, it went up to 35.88, and we got stopped out at 35.50. Am I holding it overnight? Well, you won't know unless you come to the room. It's Kenny Glick at AOL.com. Maybe I haven't mentioned that before. So, as long as the UVXY continues to, to, to die, which it does, you want to stay along this market. Now, I can't tell you that a nuclear bomb might go off tomorrow and the market's down 2,000 points and you'll say, I told you so. You can't. All things being equal, as should be stated, all things being equal, this market is going up. They're not raising interest rates. It doesn't matter who's going to be president. None of it matters. None of it matters to Caesars today or FSLR or SAEX or, or, or Con or Lumber Liquidators to the guy. I know it's a frightening stock to own. Their, their flooring causes cancer. They have lawsuits all over the place. They import stuff from China. Little children's bones are in their, in their wood. Why would you want to own this stock? 
Oh, because the exhaustion situation formation into a short squeeze. It's the same pattern over and over again, and I will drill it into your heads, but you have to show up, kids. You have to show up. Yes! Uh. By the way, I met Chuck D. I actually sang this song to Chuck D's face with Flavor Flav right next to me, and when it was his part to fill in, I turned to him, and he didn't do anything, and next thing you know, I'm on the back of Flavor Flav's motorcycle driving around Chelsea from the John Stewart show. Probably was the dumbest thing. You think trading on the short side is dumb? Getting on the back of a Ducati with Flavor Flav, where I think he probably just smoked a bag full of crack, probably one of the dumbest things I've ever done in my life, but there it was. Hey, I'm stupid enough to short the cues two weeks ago, right, and hold on to a few. What's a, what's a, what's a motorcycle ride doing 95 miles an hour down a side street on the back of a bike with Flavor Flav, right? Hey, you can't make that shit up. Or maybe I can. Maybe that's a real, maybe that's a fake story too. I don't know. Maybe none of this is real. Maybe this video isn't really happening and I'm in a padded cell right now and I'm going to wake up one day strapped to a fucking chair screaming and being electrocuted or something. I don't know. Maybe that's what's going to happen. I don't know. But for now, I know for a fact that I was in this first solar before anybody. I was in that Caesar as it was happening. I was in, what the hell is another stock? S-E-E-X. Come on. All you need is two or three of these a day. Bull market left without you, the bull market just begun. If you take a look at a chart, I don't know what you guys are looking at. But I see a two-year consolidation of a stock market that just busted out with $17 trillion in cash waiting to get in because everyone's still nervous. They're going to keep being nervous. Oh, it's a low-volume rally. Oh, it's a, it's a government-induced rally. Oh, it's a QE rally. Oh, it's an interest rate rally. Give me some more reasons that you shouldn't be in the market, and I'll just point to where we are right now, and you suck. You suck for not being in this market. Now, again, do I say pile in? No. But own some stocks, for God's sakes. At least get involved in some of these monster short squeezes that are going on every day. Now, I will give you one little more heads up before I say farewell, and I'll see you tomorrow morning. When dry ships starts to rally again, that's when we got to be afraid. But more importantly, the UVXY. When this bitch actually has one up day, I might be nervous, let alone two. When's the last time it's gone up three days in a row? Let me know when the UVXY has three up days in a row and I will change my bullish tone. Right now, I'm thinking this market rallies. Get this. I'm going to give you an exact date because if you've been watching this market, every time we have a vicious sell-off, what happens? What happens? We have a six-week rally. So I'm looking at around October 10th or 12th for this market to possibly rally into. And then we have earnings season, and then who knows what's gonna happen. But right now, you wanna wanna know what I own? The list is getting longer and longer. I'm back in the LL. I got some First Solar. I got some Aria, obviously. I have not bought the Gilead yet because it's not giving me enough reasons to buy it. I don't own the Gilead. So what do we got? We got the FEYE again today, if you can believe that. And of course, Alcoa. And BlackBerry, you believe this? Look at these symbols we're talking about. These are the worst stocks in the world, but they're not going down, so you must buy. First Solar? Come on! This stock's a piece of shit. Look at this monster move today. It's unbelievable. Wait, one second. Fiction! Crucifixion! Ain't no fiction! Ah. Uh, all right. Well, I'm going to keep it short and sweet today because it's a lot of fun. So, yeah. That's it, my friends. If you don't know, now you know. So make it your business to come and hang out with me and my crew because we're the best. We're the best. And, we're, and again, if you're the guy that stumbled into the room yesterday, and I know four or five of you guys showed up, and we're just talking music and how to fry up a good fish and different recipes for a meatball, and you're thinking, this fucking guy is retarded. Yeah. Never said I wasn't insane, retarded, any all those superlatives. Throw them on me. But bro and hoes, I can help you make money. There's no doubt about it. So come in, ask the people that are hanging out on a daily basis, what really goes on in here? Or take my offer, for God's sakes, 30 trading days, which is about a month and a half. If I don't blow your fucking mind in 30 days, but 30 days meaning you got to show up. 
you don't pop in for five minutes on a Thursday at 3.15. Where are the picks, bro? Where's all that information? Give me something. It doesn't work like that. There are setups. You wait for them. You make them count. You make money. And then you say farewell. And to all you shorters, one more time. Congratulations. Keep fighting the good fight. You will have your day soon. UVXY will eventually go back to at least 68,000. And the Qs, yeah, they'll be back at 65 in no time. 50% collapse any day now. Any day.